All right, I'm going to this uh, Bama's uh, South Florida game for my next best bet. Oh, what's that? That's I'm not touching Bama got, with a hot stick. We, we got all these big, big in-state rivalries this week, man. Can't wait. This is a throw-up game. <laughs> it's a throw-up game for you. Yeah. So we already know Bama lost last week. I think this is a great bounce-back spot here for Bama. Um, I'm taking Bama first. Uh, what I have Bama uh, first half. Um, what was it team total? I think it was my first half team. Yeah, Bama first half team total. This South Florida team's like I, the South Florida team defense is horrendous. Like right? this team is horrendous. But what I was looking at was it's going to be hot. It's going to be in Florida, so it's hot in Bama, but it's a little bit different with that humidity down there. So I'm thinking that once they get up, that gas might start to come off um, a little bit later in those uh, you know third and fourth quarters. But this is a pure bounce back spot here. Obviously, Bama lost to Texas last week. Did not look good. So I like Bama here to put up a couple points. I've noticed that um, outside of the Texas game, obviously, uh, they do beat up on, obviously, bad teams. And then uh, who was the team that they played for? Uh, who does, uh, South Florida's given up, I believe, 27 points in the last two games in the first half. If I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that. But they're, you know, FBS team, when I'm starting to FBS, against other FBS teams, um, we're able to score. So I expect Bama to score early and often in this game um, and get the and get the win. Whether they cover or not, hmm, another story. But I like the first half, Bama. Yeah, I I, I mean, U, USF has three freshman quarterbacks versus Nick Saban. So off a loss. I mean, that's that's probably just a principal bet, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, awful loss. That's yeah, and that's what I'm about. It's not so. I don't. I haven't watched South Florida that much, but awful loss against obviously an inferior team. Um, you know, I'll take I'll I'll take the coaching and that team and that pedigree of that team, knowing that they're going to come out and they're going they're going to probably put their foot in their throats pretty early, pretty quickly. Off to the next thing. one. It was a long week for Bama this week at practice. I do know that. That's <laughs> for sure. Losing at home like that to Texas. Oof. Yeah, and I think another advantage for you, uh, Moss, is you know Jalen Milrow is a dual threat running quarterback. Well, so is US U, USF starting quarterback um, Byron Brown. So mm -hmm. you know that that read option stuff. Bama's defense sees it every day in practice. That's not going to confuse them. <laughs>